Hey guys and welcome to this video. My name is Cami and so for this video I just wanted to use everything that is on my desk currently because my desk is very very cluttered with makeup, with skincare, and so most of the things on my desk are drugstore items. I've got some drugstore foundations, I've got some makeup brushes, and so this is going to be a drugstore video. So there's a couple of newer products that I have not used much on my channel. It's one of them still in the packaging. So let's go ahead and start with my face. I already have on moisturizer, but I'm gonna use this Physicians Formula 24 Karat Gold. This is the Gold Collagen Serum. I've never used this on my channel before, I don't think. So let's open it. It's a really nice pump. I think I got this at Ulta, but I have seen it like at CVS and things like that. It doesn't like shake up or anything really, so that's interesting. So I'm just gonna use one full pump on my face. Collagen is supposed to like have skin tightening effects, so I'm here for that. Oh my gosh, my face is turning red because my skin is kind of sensitive. I'm just realizing like my skin is kind of sensitive, so my face is turning red where I was like pushing on it a lot. Go ahead and actually put some on my neck too. Let me know in the comments down below, do you guys use, what's it called, um, like collagen vitamins or anything like that? I recently bought one, but I don't know, I just, I haven't started taking it and it's like a powder that you can put into your coffee, your water, your smoothie in the morning. I don't know, I just... Things that aren't just like fruits and vegetables sort of freak me out. I'm sort of like weird with vitamins. I'm taking a daily vitamin now, but I'm kind of forcing myself to. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't naturally think that vitamins are just for me, but I do it anyway. Okay guys, <laughs> let me know if you're taking like a collagen or a vitamin pill or supplement down below in the comments, I'd love to know. All right guys, so, what primer does is it helps your makeup just stay on longer. This is the One Heck of a Blot Soap and Glory Primer. I got this at Ulta, but you can get this at Target. I've used this a million times. I love it. My tube is flattening out. Um, I would say that I would probably buy this again. So definitely pick this up at the drugstore if you would like to. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. This is the color Espresso. I feel like a lot of my makeup products have the color espresso so my eyebrows are sparse so i'm trying to fill in the color but i'm also trying to change shape so that's why i'm going to fast forward this pencil is really really good for just making like thin hair like strokes you can barely see it on my hand I need to tweeze the ends of my brows and start lifting my brows. I like my brows on the filled in, bushier side, but like in a nice controlled arch up, upwards. So this pencil is really good for that. I love NYX. Honestly, I cannot wait to do like a full face of NYX products. That video is coming. I've been thinking about it for so long. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. You guys, this is one of the best concealers on the market. Anyone who's ever used this concealer that I have seen has said positive things about it. It's full coverage and it doesn't get too cakey too fast. I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit to carve out like underneath. I want the shape of my eyebrows to be a little bit more controlled than they are. So I'm just gonna use a drugstore makeup brush to do this. A couple months ago, I bought the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil brushes. So this is the number six brush, and they're all metallic and colorful, which I really like. So this is the number six brush. I'm just gonna use it to carve out the shape of my brow that I want. So this is the Milani eyeshadow primer, intensifies and extends the wear of any shadow. It says blend well from lash line to brow. So you guys, this is going to be my first time using this. We'll see how it does. Um, I already have a little concealer obviously at the top of my eyes, but I'm just going to use this on the lid part and the lid part is where I get oily. Okay. So it's like 
um, it's not flesh colored, but I think you guys understand. I actually love using brushes on my eyes, but I don't have one for primer and I wonder if the primer on this now is going to affect the bristles. So you see what I mean? I kind of want a designated brush for primer. So let me know if you've used this before and what skin type you have because that's really important. I kind of want to do something colorful. This very, very light, almost white color. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. I'm just making sure to pat it right under my brow. Literally taking them out of the packages today. I love the metallic. This looks nice. Ooh, nice and fluffy. So I'm taking this color here and I'm putting it in my crease. I'm putting the crease color closer to where my nose bridge begins. So, and don't worry about like how this looks in here. I'm gonna fix it with everything else later. I still have to do foundation and things like that with this number five brush by BH Cosmetics. It's really like a red tone color. I like that. Now we're gonna take one of these shimmers. So it's time for the salt and pepper palette, guys. Wow. I might have to change my earrings for this, but it's fine. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Milani eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the silver and I'm gonna put it on top. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, that does lighten it up a little bit. These, these are the Ardell Aqua Lashes. The Ardell Aqua Lashes, it says no adhesive needed dip and apply. So with these eyelashes, you guys, I'm just gonna be dipping them into water and then I'm going to be putting them on my lashes. It says, I think I hold these in here for 15 seconds. I've used these once before and it's hard not to think like that I don't need to like dry them out first or something like that right because if it's too wet it could like mess up everything else but I've used these before and they actually work pretty good and to take these off um, all I did what did I do last time I just used on a towel and I just sort of wiped these off it wasn't something that took me forever to do but don't try to pull these off yourself they're not going to come off i had to go ahead and add liner to the top because i did a couple of things that i forgot that i needed to do from the first time from using these i didn't remember to do them just now so before you use these lashes you want to sort of like bend the strip a little bit to make it more flexible. I didn't do that and I ended up putting them on and you see how they're just like straight and they kind of just go out? Well, I have like the corner inside is like sticking up this way a little bit. So I went ahead and I put on some black eyeliner at the top. We're not done with the eyes yet, you guys. We still have to do the bottom, we still have to curl the lash. I am gonna use my eyelash curler a little bit later in the video. They're gonna look a little bit better than they do now but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So this is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. It's setting spray, it's supposed to go after your makeup, but that's not to say that it cannot go before you put on your face makeup, because I like for the makeup to set from underneath too. Okay, nice, strong sprayer. Not the best smell in the world, it just smells like, you know, a spray, but it doesn't smell like a perfume. So, just in case you were wondering. And then today, we're gonna use one of my very favorite, 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 favorite foundations, you guys. It's the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. This is the color 420. This is Warm Almond. I have not used this in quite a while. Let's go ahead and blend this out before I get like crazy with it and really do get it everywhere. You guys, my filming chair is white. And I've dropped so many foundation products down below. And when I look down, I'm just like praying that it's not on my chair, like between my legs or something. I love it. I love this foundation, Milani. So 
So this is, again, the Screen Queen foundation. How nice. But I'm going to have to set it like crazy because I have oily combination skin. So for concealer, I'm still using the Infallible Concealer. What color is this, you guys want to know? This is the color Amber. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is in a giveaway right now. So like I said, check out my giveaway channel if you're interested because one of these is in my current giveaway. And I'm going to take the Excess Infallible Concealer and just put it down the middle of my face. So I'm also going to do a little bit here and you'll see it just brighten up the center a little bit, just like that, just a little bit. And then also here. So now I'm going to use a little bit of powder before I go and finish my lower eyes. For powder, I'm using the Milani Yellow Setting Powder. It's actually called Translucent Banana. So I'm just taking it in the cap like this. If you're looking for your very first powder from the drugstore, I would say choose a banana colored powder. It's probably gonna work for you. It works for a lot of different skin tones. All right, perfect. So now that that's done, let's go ahead with the red that we had. And I just have some left over on my brush. So I'm gonna drag that on my lower lash line. I think that my lashes are dry enough. I wanna go ahead and curl them. Okay, for contour, I'm going to use this brown here. And also, I don't have a new drugstore contour brown for you guys. Here's my brush. What was I using? I should take a bigger brush than this, but this one's fine. Yeah, and I just want to make myself look a little bit more tan around the edges because I naturally am more tan. So, this is just an opportunity to let you know you can use whatever you want in makeup. It's makeup, there's no rules. So, this is the Essence blush that I've been using a lot lately. This is the color called Bespoke. This palette worked out beautiful for my eyes. It worked out awesome for my face. I'm really happy about that. And I'm so surprised that it bronzed up my face. Like this worked really good. Also, it really helps that these are all matte colors. I'm just gonna take a little bit of highlighter down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. I love it there. I just keep mixing the gold and the beige together to get a little bit of a highlight look. Okay, that works. Okay, so now that I have my highlighter on, all that's left to do are lips. I feel like you guys can't really see, <clears throat> you can't really see like where I put blush and stuff. It's just a little light. I'm gonna make the blush heavier because you guys can't really see unless I put like a whole lot. That's one thing about making videos is you kind of have to amp up the amount of things that you put. I'll do makeup looks on camera and I'll completely forget to do like my eyelashes. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blash. <sighs> so this is, this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara. It's the clean version. So it's brand new from the drugstore. I think it came out probably about a month ago. What it's good for is length. I have this new lipstick by NYX here. This is one of their new collections. It's like the Diamond Lights collection or something like that. I'll put the name in the description box down below because I'm 100% sure I butchered that. Not because I wanted to, I love NYX. I just cannot remember the name. But this lipstick is so pretty. See how it's got like gold specks on it? What color is this? This is called High Key. I remember they had three choices and I thought I'm gonna go for this one. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face one more time with my NYX spray. Ooh, ooh, this does make me look dewy. 
Oh, I like this for the winter. This is a cute, like, everyday makeup look. Honestly, this eyeshadow palette blew me away. Maybelline, where are you? We need more products by you. I really loved the way that these eyeshadows blended out. They blended out well on top of the concealer. They also blended out well on top of the eyeshadow primer. I've been wearing my makeup for about three hours now. This eyeshadow primer. Um, has really it really was a good base to blend out my eyeshadows they did a really good job I forgot to do an outro but I love you guys and thank you for watching